What you got, John? What size do it feel like? Do it feel what's decent one? Huh? Three pounds. Yeah. We had to change our location because of that. Yeah. This is this the actual third time? There you go. Yep. All right. Oh yeah, he down there eating real good. Really cool. All right, we about to see what else we can catch. Leech. <laughs> yep. All right, stay tuned, y'all. See, John got him another one. Look at him. Yep. Got him another one. This one's a little bit bigger than the last. You sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, a little bit bigger. If that other one was two pounds, that's two and a half, you know? Look like a decent fish. Let's walk up here to him. I'm sitting there trying to set up my other rod with some good old shrimp. This is a good eating size. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a good catch. You sure did. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I see it. Barely caught him. All right, going to throw that one back. We're going to see what else we can do. Nice catch. Okay. So I got a fish. Yep. He got some torque to him. He fighting. Look at that. Yep. He fighting. Look at that. Oh yeah. He fighting good. Yeah, that's how the last couple ones yeah. they were fighting hard. Yeah, see they dogging it right now. And that's okay, cause they eating. And they trying to run out with it. You know, probably a lot of them down there watching the bait. Some of them just trying to hurry up and get it and peel out. Yeah, because they not even coming from by at the bottom. They just, yep, this the shrimp that they bit on. They're getting high on that line too, because you know, yeah. the ones that, that cut up for the bottom. Mm -hmm. the yep, look at that. He still, look at that, still not trying to come up. There you go. Come on, Let's see. Get him up here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to get up here so I won't have to just drop the uh. And get the hook out of there. Yep. Yeah, let's get this hook out of here. Let's get this uh, weight out of here. You don't want to leave that weight in there because just be on the safe side. Take everything out now. Because that's one thing about these uh, these nets. And in the butt. They can't get, they can't, it can't get difficult, man. Because these fish, especially when you got them fish that's just mean, they don't want to get caught yeah, there we go that's what i caught right here y'all oh yeah that's a nice hefty four pounder look at that look at that oh my he got one too look at this he on okay 
Yep, but that's a hefty four pounder, as you can see. Nice, good fish. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to throw him in the water. That was a good catch. They hungry, too. They belly's full, and they eating. We're going to get him back in. Stay tuned. Matter of fact, let me throw it in the water first. He is out. Stay tuned. Okay, got another one. Yep. He I almost feel like the same. No, nah, he's a little smaller. I could tell. I could tell by his fight, but he is dogging it. He's dogging it. He is dogging it. Yep, he a little smaller. He is a little smaller. Did you see that? When my pole was bouncing? Yeah, he might be a lot smaller versus the other one. The other one's like four pounds. Yeah, this one, yeah. Hey, can you move your uh, rod out of the way for a second? I got him. Just let, let him go slow. I got him. I don't want him to <laughs> oh. fly back and smack me, man. Go ahead. I got him. That'd be a good bloopers. There you go. Another channel. Yep. They are very hungry because they, they grabbing this shrimp and they running with it. Look at that. Shit. I Bro. got another fish on my other line. There you go. See him? About one and a half pounds right there. There you go. Good eater size. We're gonna throw him back and see what else we can do. That looks like. He ain't big, but he definitely tried to snack me up under some rocks. There you go. He tried to snack me up under some rocks so much. Look at this. So one thing about that braided line, you show all of it. Look at him. Three pounds. Three pounds? Yeah. Probably better if it's it... not a, a big two and a half, you know? Uh huh. Well, he wanted it. Every bit of three pounds. Yeah, that's a good food right there. <laughs> He's like, oh, that look, looking at him make me want to <laughs> make me want to I gotta look at the other rod just in case but there you have it nice little female yeah. yep. been biting yep. off the shrimp dipped in garlic real good I got some worms dipped in garlic they was, hit, they was hitting off that at first but they just they kind of slowed down so we just tried the shrimp and that's been you know pretty much successful so we're gonna stick with it I might throw a worm out here sooner Maybe not, but until then, this one is about to get rebated with the good shrimp and garlic. So y'all stay tuned. Maybe we get one more fish before we head out because we're going to be leaving soon. So There you have All it. Right. I went and got the car. Caught me another nice little, what is it? One, one and a half pound channel cat. We're out here killing them. Just caught one off his black pole right here. Can't wait for him to get back. But, you guys stay tuned. We're going to keep trying to get a lot more of these channels in for you. We ain't All right. So long. <laughs> Ever got him another one? Yeah, it's a good one. It's a decent one. Mm -hmm. He dogging it. He sure is. I'm sorry. Four? Yeah, because he's not giving me no problem. But then you know what, though? He could be a big one just swimming in. You know what? I had a big fish one time, like a 10, 10 plus pounder. Uh huh. Funny, the sound I had a 10 plus pounder. It took me nothing to bring him in. I mean, literally, like it, was, it wasn't it was no work to it. 
I just knew he was a decent size because once he got closer, he put a little, uh, yep. He was gonna be a little smaller. Look at that. Look at that. Got him. Yeah. Oh man. See, that's how it is. Man. <laughs> see, you see what I'm saying? Didn't he bite that? Yeah, man, he bit pounds. that like he he but was. I didn't say four pounds. He about three. Yeah. He definitely three pounds. Oh. Did you hook him good? Oh. Barely had him. No, oh, right through the eye. Oh man. said about four pounds didn't at the end yeah it's probably oh, oh. little slippery guy if he could make it in there i won't even be he probably gonna be able to make it in no there. he ain't gonna be able to make it in there he better make it in there I gotta well get we gotta go oh, wait a minute he might he might do it well your legs messed up here you go man no he might do it he going in he going he made it he Ooh, made it on his that. own. Look at that. Ain't that something? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he made it in the water on his own. He dropped out my hand and made it in the water on his own. That's what I'm talking about. Tell them what happened today, man. On our little adventures. Man, we had to we had to take a little hike, just a little one, not too much. But believe it or not, we uh, downtown. But we um, kind of figured let's try something new. You know what I'm saying? And this is how you find spots. Sometimes you just have to say, hey, the fish ain't been biting lately. We got to do something new. So we went, crawled through some uh, woods, little woods, climbed over some rocks, and we made it here on the left side of the bridge, the north part downtown, as you can see, the bank right there. And so far, we haven't, uh, we've been having better success down here. Uh -huh. We've been catching us some decent cats, and that's pretty much been the whole plan. And right now, I'm looking at everybody's rides, just to yeah. make sure nobody get a fish. All right, so there you have it, man. Y'all stay tuned. We should have at least a couple more fish we got before the day in. Yeah, this is much. Uh, you right. you get your gym, dude. This is a nice one right here. I... Go ahead, go. Yeah, go up this, to the front. This is without a question, bro. This is bigger than the other. All the all the ones I caught so far, I think. Let me make sure. All right. Yeah, he. he get up strong. closer. Huh? Get up closer. But at the end of the day, remember. These fish can be tricky. Yeah. Small ones fight like they a nice size. Oh, you might be swimming my way. Swimming towards you. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Oh, you guys that. almost just witnessed me getting beat up by a fishing pole. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, hold, hold on. I got to get this. Nicer one, nice oh, one. Oh yeah. Nice right. one, nice male. Yeah. Let me through. Yeah, bring that up. That's that looked like he's about a good six pounds. Definitely the biggest. Definitely the biggest one I caught today. Get up, Everett. Cause Let the weights are already out. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Is it? It, it looked like it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. And he bit little, too. Yep, that's that, about eight pounds, man. You need some help? Let me hold your pole for you. Oh, I can't put my hands around him, dude. <laughs> right there at the corner of the mouth. That, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. See that? Uh-huh. Yeah, we might want to get a scale on him. All right. Oh, this oh. see. Oh my God, this is a beautiful channel. Yeah. Jesus. Let me get a close <laughs> look. Yeah. Look at that. You see how gray it is? Mm -hmm. That is a beautiful channel. It's got a big mouth on if him too. If he's in the water, if he's in the water, he will be like a black color, like a dark, real, real dark gray. And this is what I'm talking about with channels. How they vary it in color. This is like one of the more pretty, you know, one of the more beautiful ones I have seen. This is by far my favorite channel that I caught, hands down. Not my, not my biggest, not my best, but my favorite because I, because of the color, it's just phenomenal. 
He's got a big mouth on yeah. him too. All right, let's get the scale. All right. There you have it. A lot of fish and TV. Nice little cat. Here you go, six pounds going back in the water. Just so you guys could see, we're gonna show you that we put these back instead of just telling you. Yeah, see, one thing I need to let people know, man, it's always good to catch and release, especially if you're not going to eat the fish. Please, people, I beg for you not to be a fisherman who likes to just catch fish and have one of those complex where they need to just keep them all and then you don't do anything with it. I think that's just like the most cruel, you know, cold-hearted thing. You just got to think about it. These fish got lives just like you. And I'm not saying that a fish life is, you know, matters more than a human's but at the end of the day what's the point of you know taking out one of these beautiful fish just to you know have them die on the you know you might as well just throw them back in the water so mm -hmm. that's my thing man catch and release we like to catch uh catch the bigger ones and put them back most definitely um something like this size i may take home to eat every now and again but most of the times like i said uh three to five pounds for me and that's just how i do it so here you have it This is something we highly practice. Just for yourself. Let me go. We had us a decent night, day, that went into night. Um, See, the last few times we went fishing, uh, me and my partner, we haven't really been catching much. So we just wanted to figure out where we can catch. So we had to make sure within a little time that we did have, because we came out here around uh, one, going on two, and you gotta understand, it's starting to get dark at 5.30. So we had to kind of like, step by step, try to figure out where we fish. So we came, we decided to come. Um, that's, a, that's a rod that fell. <laughs> so we decided to come, up, like to the left of the bridge, and kind of fish towards the bridge. And I be it, we we I be down. We actually caught us some nice cats. Caught a six pounder, a bunch of uh, two and a halves, three. But it was it was a decent day. Um, so we are gonna wrap it up. Like I said, there's never nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. See you next time.